everybody, welcome back to Cotto Verdi. My name's Annette and today in my garden I'm going to be pruning the Cursus Ilex, which are the holm oaks, that's another word for them, right behind me. We've got seven of these and they surround a seating area on our patio. And these are very structural trees. Well, you can prune them into a very structural shape um, really easily and that um, just makes everything look really neat and tidy and that's kind of what I want in this area. If you see my previous videos about these trees then you'll know that um, my mum who lives in the south of France has got one of these trees in her garden and it's been pruned over the years into this really lovely umbrella shape and I love it and um, that's what we're going to try and do with these trees. Now we've had these trees in I think two years now something like that I'll look it up um, and put it up on the screen <laughs> but uh, we haven't pruned them yet and they've just taken time to establish but this year they have put on lots of sort of leggy growth so what we're going to do today is we're going to flat on the bottoms because as I said I want to create this sort of umbrella shape or a mushroom whatever you want to call it so I'm going to flat on the bottoms because some of the branches are dangling a bit and then we're going to contain any leaders that are shooting off to the sky and just sort of create a more rounded curved shape on the top of the trees and I'm not going to prune too hard but obviously with any shrubs and trees the more you prune them you know the more they will branch at that point so we're trying to create a thicker bushier growth so I am going to try and snip each branch if at all possible without damaging the shape just to give it a little spurt um, in the next season where it will start branching off. So to start with I'm going to start at the bottom Richard's going to do the top hopefully on a ladder and I'm just going to create this flat area at the bottom so it's sort of like an umbrella so I'm going to chop off anything that's you know taking away from that flat bottom and then you have to remember that everywhere you cut the tree will branch and so it's just going to make it bushier so don't be afraid and I am taking it back to a leaf where a leaf joins and then the, the tree will shoot from those bits at the end there. And then if you're pruning and you're not sure what you're doing, always take a step back and keep checking whilst you're pruning it just to make sure you're creating the shape that you want. And then the other thing that I am doing is I'm cutting each branch where possible because if you cut each branch, that branch will divide. It will make at least three side shoots, two side shoots, maybe three. Um, and that's what I want it to do. So I want it to bush out and look much fuller. So I'm going to nip the ends off each of the little branches. So we're fairly happy with this one obviously there's sort of a gap above me and that needs to fill out hopefully it will next season but we're creating a general shape and over the seasons it will just thicken out and become just a lovely structure in the garden now we're just going to complete the rest of the trees
that's all we're going to do today. We're not chopping them back any more than that. I realise that probably to you they don't look particularly structured at the moment. But we're looking to the future and the pruning we're doing um, is to generate growth for the future. So we have tidied them up a bit but we've also snipped the ends off most of the little branches in the hope that they will then divide and we'll create two branches which will thicken them up and then they'll put on more growth next year as well. So we're not going to do anything special with these trees over the winter. Um, they're very hardy and they will be absolutely fine. And then come the spring, we will give them a lovely feed. Uh, we will mulch them actually in November. Um, and then we'll give them a feed in the spring and hopefully it will generate loads more growth next year. Meanwhile, through the winter, we're going to have a tidier structure to look at. And those whippy branches that were whipping around in the wind um, will be well, they won't be there, so they won't, there won't be any more danger of them maybe snapping um, if we get very strong breezes or anything like that. Anyway, I hope you found this useful and uh, interesting even. <laughs> and if you've got any trees like this, then um, maybe it's given you an idea of how to prune them. But you could do this with any evergreen tree, actually. If you've got some very young trees that are very spindly, um, this is the way I would go about pruning them. So... That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.